What's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Coach Bobby here. What time is it, y'all? What time is it? It's 3.30. 3.30 on Wednesday, hump day. Just got home from my workout, guys. Well, from my, my long day. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, as you guys know, I'm at it from, from 4 a.m. until sometimes until 10 p.m. at it. Got my, got, I get up at 4 um, to get to my morning classes that go from 6 to 10 then I got a little block of time for myself to work out. Then I have my corporate account, one of my corporate accounts, right? So I'm up and at it at 4 a.m., yet I still manage, I know, I still manage to be late sometimes. Uh, but that's a different story <laughs> altogether. Uh, but so, yeah, so normally I get home and I'm tired, right? And I have to run around and rush and eat usually because my kids usually have something going on in the evening, practice or a game or something, uh, tonight, that's not the case. In fact, my my daughter and my wife are a little bit sick, so we're gonna stay in. So I jumped, I got home, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna jump on and do a do a quick video. Um, and so, what's up, William? Uh, I just heard from you today. Good to see you, brother. Um, so today, uh, it came to me that this idea came to me uh, in my classes, and I love it how how God sends me messages. And that's how that's how I'm sure I'm doing. What I want to do because not only do I get visions and thoughts uh, every day uh, about great workout programs, uh, but I also get ideas and thoughts about stories, anecdotes, ways to communicate and storytell and and give you guys anecdotes, analogies, and so forth to help you guys understand that these these dreams you have, these visions, whether it be fitness, whether it be whatever, are possible. So that's how I know it's real because I got this idea today that literally just came to me. Right, so for those of you who are who are tired of seeing my face, tired of hearing my voice, uh, I suggest you unfollow me because because I'm getting too many confirmations, guys, that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Right, I spent you know half my life hiding from it, you know, being afraid of it, but but no more, no more. So today's story or today's today's thought is is about one of the main reasons I believe you have not lost weight yet or you have not started that job yet, or you have not started that business yet, or you have not wrote that book yet, or you have not attempted to do whatever you want to do in your life, right? And it comes down to this. I'm going to tell you a little story. So um, last month, my son was playing in the AAU basketball game. And uh, I assist, I don't coach, not basketball. Uh, I assist the head coach, right? My job mainly is just to yell at the kids. Get off the court, hustle, you know, so when they come off the court, I can give them information, advice, tips related to things that I know about. Hustle, bend, box out, whatever. I can't do any X's and O's. That's the coach's job. Uh, but that's my job. And so and, and to and to provide uh, help on, on mentality, on toughness, things that I know about. So we're in a game, we're in a heated game, and uh, one of our rivalries and one of the coaches on the other team is he knows us, right? He knows our team. He knows my son. My son's a point guard. And he's just, just ch chattering with my son, right? Just talking to him. And I know, I know the guy, uh, my son knows, we all know him. And I'm sure we'll mend, we'll mend the bridge at some point, but right now it ain't mended, right? So he's just chattering at my son. And I, and I, you know, you guys know me, I don't really have a filter, Right, I don't have a filter, Anthony William. So I yell in the middle of the damn game, "Stop talking to my son like that! Stop talking to my son!" Right, I didn't say it that calmly. You guys know me. I didn't say it that calmly, or I didn't say it that cleanly. Right, uh, stop talking to my son. And the ref gets on me. I said, "You tell that you tell that guy to stop talking to my. That's my son. Stop talk talk to me. If you got something to say, or talk to the team as a whole, your team as a whole. Don't talk to my son like that." All right. And, and so many of you feel the same way about your kids. Right. You, you can scold them. You, you can yell at them, but let somebody else talk to them. Talk to them like that. My mom's, my mom's favorite saying, you know, in the, in the black community, we say, let somebody else do that. Let somebody talk to my kid that way. Right. So that's how you feel. Right. And, and luckily, I haven't had the chance very often to do that in regards to my wife. Or my daughter, my all the boys know, you know, I, I, I made it very clear, you know, uh, my daughter's in high school now. I made, I made it very clear, you know, early on when she first started high school, I trained the football team and I told them in, in no uncertain terms, that's my daughter. 
right? She's going to be a freshman there. That's my daughter. Don't talk to her no funny way. Don't, don't approach her no funny way. That's my daughter, right? I told the guy in the game, that's my son. I told the, all the boys at the school, that's my daughter, right? And, and, and luckily, I haven't had many attempts to do that same kind of a, of, of, of a thing with my wife. Thank, thank God, you know, I don't want to get into altercation at, at my age with, with, with all that I had to lose. Uh, but in, in one case in particular, I came home and she was on the phone, you know, she has a home office on the phone talking to somebody, um, one of her superiors, and they were getting kind of edgy with her, right? Talking to her in, in, in kind of, a, you know, a, a rude way. So I walk in with my bags and I'm like, who is that talking to you like that? Right, she closes the door, <laughs> closes the door because she don't want to get fired, right? Because of me, what's up, Chris? So um, I let her know, you know, you know, I'm gonna. I'm, I, no one talks to my wife. I don't care who it is. Don't talk to my wife like that, right? Don't talk to my daughter like that, and don't talk to my son like that. Period, right? And many of you feel the same way about your children, right? For sure about your children. Hopefully, you feel that way about your spouse, right? But get this story. This is the next level. This is the next level of, of, of the thought. This is the idea that came to me from God, right? So, you know, flashback, my son's 12. Flashback maybe five years, maybe six years ago. We're driving in a car, all four of us, we're going somewhere. So he's like six or seven years old. Uh, beginning to understand how he can push back against his parents, against me and his mom, right? Talk back a little bit. So we're driving somewhere and my wife says something, I forgot what it was. And he, he mouthed off to her. I forgot what he said to her. He mouthed off to her. And I literally almost crashed the car. I literally almost crashed the car, Chris. I hit the brakes so hard that everybody in the car went flying forward. I pulled over. And I said, don't you ever talk to my wife like that again. To my son. I said, don't you ever, ever talk to my wife like that again in my presence. I would knock you, to, I would knock you out. That's my wife. I knew, her, I knew her before I knew you. I'm getting chills thinking about it. Right? So, so I could have said, don't talk to your mom like that, like everybody else does. But when I framed it that way, it was different. And to this day, I talk to him like that about, about, about Maria. That's my wife. Right? I married her. Don't talk to her like that. Don't talk to any woman like that. But, 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 and not your mom, but for sure not my wife like that. All right? So the problem we have, and how does this relate to freaking fitness, Coach Bobby, Hey, Teresa, how does this relate to my goals, Coach Bobby? The problem is you guys let anybody talk to your dream any way they want to talk to it. You let anybody interrupt your vision, your goal, whenever they want to do it. Right? You don't defend what you want in life the same way you defend your children, the same way, hopefully, you defend your spouse. Right? You let the phone ring during a workout. You let anybody interrupt you while you're writing. You let anybody in, 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 talk, talk smack about you wanting to go back to school. You let all these people get in the way of, of you and your vision, of you and your goal, of you and your dream. The way I'm different about, about my goals is I treat the same way I treat my children, the same way I treat my wife. Don't fucking talk to me about my goal and my vision if you're on the same page as me. Right? Don't interrupt my workout. If I'm, if I'm applying to business school, don't talk mad, 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 bad about it. Don't say a word about, about me wanting to be a business owner. Don't talk trash or interrupt me or talk negative about me wanting to write a book. Right? That's my goal. That's my vision. That's between me and my goal. Right? So the problem with many people that I train is that they let anybody interrupt the, the, the communication, the relationship with them and their wanting to lose 20 pounds. Anybody. Get a call, interrupt it. Somebody wants to go to dinner, interrupt it. Want to go to lunch, interrupt it. Not me. Ask, them my, ask my wife, ask my kids. If they call me during a workout, ask them if I answer the call. I tell them the same thing I told my son about my wife. Don't call me during my workout. Right? Don't, 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 don't talk trash or talk down about me wanting to eat clean. They know. Right? My relationship with me and my goals and my vision is me and my goals and my vision. If you ain't on board with that, then don't talk about it. Get out of my way. Simple as that. Same way I was like, don't talk to my son like that. Right? The same way I was like, don't talk to my wife like that or my, or my daughter like that. Don't talk about my dream like that. Don't interrupt my dream like that. 
I'm going to still love you. Just don't interrupt my, uh, my path, my journey to greatness. And so if you want to be great, right, you got to hold that, that, that dream, that vision to high esteem. You can't just be complacent. You can't be, can't be, you can't be great casually. You can't do it. You got to have the same, this, the, 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 the same passion about wanting to lose 30 pounds as you do when somebody calls your son an idiot. Right? You have, you have to have the same attack and, and, and fervor you do when your son gets pulled from a game, when you call the coach or email the coach from long ass page. Have the same intensity when somebody says, you, you, you can't, I'm, I want to go to lunch. Can you go to lunch today? No, I got to work out. I told you I work out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So schedule the appointment some other time. Right? Let's go have pizza. I told you I'm eating clean. I told you that. Right, so why are you asking me to go have pizza when I, when, I, when I told you that yesterday? Right, so so yeah, I'm passionate about it. I'm angry about it, but you got to be. Right, I won't let somebody sit here and talk bad about my daughter or my son. So why don't I, why don't I let you talk bad about my idea about being rich, about being famous, about being on Instagram? About, Bobby, you couldn't speak in high school. You were scared to speak. You stutter. You talk fast. Get out of my face. I ain't got time for that, man. Don't talk about my dream like that. Don't talk about my vision like that. If you ain't with me, you against me. Simple as that. If you ain't with me and my son, you against us. If you ain't with me, with me and my wife, you against us. If you ain't with me and my dream to be great in life, then you against me. Right? In that lane. So don't roll with me. Right? So if you want to be great in life, if you want to be great, you want to lose weight, you want to build a business, you want to get a master's degree, you want to build a relationship with your daughter or your son, whatever it is, or your wife or your husband, right? Stop letting people get in the way. Right? People who don't care about your vision. In fact, they want you to be average. So they can be comfortable where they at and not feel bad about themselves. Right? Most of us, most people in your life want you to stay where you're at. That's the truth. Most people in your life want you to stay where they, they're comfortable with who Teresa is now. They're comfortable with who Chris is now. They're comfortable with who Stacy is now. They're comfortable with who Willie is now. That's how it is. Right? Most people in your life want you to be average, not me. I ain't one of those people. Right? So I'm here to push you, to make you think about stuff. To make you reach down deep inside your soul and your spirit and figure out what the fuck you're here for in life. You ain't here to be average. You ain't here to just buy a few things and do a few things and then go into the grave. Right? There are things that, that, that only you can do. Right? But, but, but you got to take some ownership and own and protect what you know is in your heart, what you know you want to do. With passion, with intensity. With anger if you have to. You can lose 30 pounds if you stop letting other people get in the way. You can start a business if you stop letting people get in the way. Right? You can do whatever you want if you just tell people in your life around you and circumstances, don't talk to my dream like that. Don't talk about my dream like that. Period. Period. All right? So... That came to me today, guys, and it was it was a passionate message that I had to share because that's the thing. I, I see it all the time. People come into my gym, and they got their phones. They're talking about this, talking about that. The phone's going off, checking their eye washes. No. No. This is what I'm here to work, right? And I'm not letting anybody get between me and my work, me and my vision, me and my passion. The same way if I was having, having dinner with my wife, and it's going to happen, guys. I'm going, I'm, going, I'm going to grow and be bigger, right? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be in dinner with my wife, having dinner, and someone's going to recognize me and want an autograph. And I'm going to tell them, no. This is me and my wife sitting here, right? You want an autograph? Wait, right? I'm in a mall, mall with my daughter shopping for a prom dress maybe, and some guy knows me from Instagram. Coach Bobby, no. This is me and my daughter shopping for, for a prom dress. I ain't got time for that. So if I'm, if I'm trying to lose weight, right, and I got up at 5.30 a.m. to go to the gym and work out, right, and someone says, oh, someone's texting me and calling me, no, I got to wait. Right now, 6 a.m. 6 to 7 a.m. is an appointment with my dream. 
If I'm studying for a test to go into law school or go to medical school and, the, and my boys call me wanting to go out, no, I told you I'm studying. Right? I have a meeting right now with my vision, with my dream. Right? That can wait. I told you I want to be a doctor. I told you that. If you ain't on board with that, I need, to, I need to find new friends. I told you I want to be a doctor. So I told you I was studying. So don't call me when I'm studying. So if it ain't important to you, I always say to people all the time, like, you know, it, they, they, they get an injury and then they, and they don't ice it or they don't treat it the way I told them to. And they come back and they're, they're injured. And I say, did you ice it? No. Did you rest it? No. Okay, well, I don't care. You don't care, coach? Why would I care if you don't care? Right, you didn't ice it. You didn't rest it, right? And now I say, well, I, I ain't worried about it then. And you get mad at me. You don't care, coach. Why would I care if you don't care? Right? If your dream is important to you and you let everybody interrupt you, why would they care if you don't care? People who know me know don't call me during my workout. They know. And it, it didn't just happen. Right? When I was working for a living, it happened then. You're going to lunch? Let me guess, Bobby. You can't go to lunch today. That's right. I can't go to lunch today. It's Monday. I work out on Mondays. You want to do a meeting? Yeah. Can we do it Tuesday? No. Well, I can't do it then. You know that. Right? You know that. You go, after work, we're going to have drinks at the work. I'm going to go study. I'm going to get my, get my MBA. I told you that. Oh, you want to have drinks? Have, have fun? I told you what I wanted. If you ain't cool with that, if you're going to give me a hard time, I can find new friends. Trust, I can find new friends. Right? There's only one MBA program I want to get into. Right? There's only one book I want to write right now. Right? There's only one body I want. I can find more friends who, who are on the, same, on, on the same pathway as me. I can find more friends. You can find more friends. Friends who support you. Friends who also want to be great. Friends who have the same frequency as you do. That's easy. That's easy. I can find more friends. I would say to my class, you know, at my funeral, right, I got my Paul Bears lined up. All my boys from college, they lined up, all of them. They ready to go. My, my closest friends from college. I got the front row of my family and closest friends lined up. Everybody else, I don't care who's back there. I know it sounds morbid, but my whole point is I got people in my corner who love me and care for me. That's all I need. That's all I need. Right? You don't need a lot of people in your life. You just need the right ones. Right? You don't need a lot of women in your life. You just need the right one. That's all it is. So if they ain't on board with your vision, if they ain't supporting you and pushing you, then, then maybe they ain't the right people for you. Right? At the end of the day, it comes down to you cannot let people talk to your dream however they want. Talk about your vision however they want. Right? In the same way I, I, I told that coach... Don't talk to my son like that. The same way I tell all the boys, whether do words or do my deeds or how I look, don't talk to my daughter in any old crazy ass way. The same way I'll tell anybody that talks sideways to my wife, don't talk to my wife like that. Same way my vision and my passion and my goals. Don't talk to or about my goals like that. Period. I'm headed somewhere. And so if you ain't on board with that, I don't want to hear it. All right? So... That's my thought today, guys. That's my thought. I want you guys to really think about that. Are you, are you letting everybody or anybody come between you and your vision? Are you letting every text message, every phone, every television show, every, every request to go have fun, to go out, to everything that's not headed toward or helping you with your vision and passion, are you letting that shit get in the way? And if you are, you got to tell everybody, don't talk to my vision like that. Don't talk to my goal like that. Don't talk to my passion like that. All right, guys? So that's it. That's it. All right. It's, uh, damn, hopefully I was short. Um, I'll check in soon. Uh, I'll try to do a workout one for you guys. I know you're all interested in fitness and health. But, you know, it starts with the mindset, guys. You know, the, the, the secret is not in the workout or the nutrition it's not. It's in the mindset. It's in how you think about stuff. All right? So, all right, guys. Have a good day. I'm going to go tend to my family. They're sick. Um, but every day, guys, let's just, just think about the greatness inside of you. Think about what you could be in life. Think about what you should be in life. And then every day, I know it's daunting, 
Right? You can't be a doctor overnight. You can't be a lawyer overnight. You can't build a business overnight. You can't lose 30 pounds overnight. You can't salvage a relationship overnight. But what you can do is take one step toward it, one step forward, right? And be better than you were yesterday, right? BTY ain't some fancy mantra. It's the real deal, right? I live by that. I teach that, hopefully. All right, so uh, as always, Coach Bobby's saying every day we're trying to get a little bit, a little bit better than yesterday. All right, guys, love you. BTY, bye-bye.